The other day, I received an email from someone called James, who watches this channel and who I'd last spoken to a few years ago. In part of his message, he said, After quitting my job, the biggest mistake I made was trying to make fast cash from property. It all got a bit depressing after two years of not really making any cash, and to be honest, cash flow was getting pretty bad, to say the least. I certainly wish he'd had an easier time of it, but I can't deny it was reassuring to see real life bearing out advice that I've given countless times over the years, which is that it's really, really hard to make money from property, and especially to do so quickly. When you think about it, property is almost ridiculously ill-suited to making money from. The biggest flaw is that you need a huge amount of money to even get started. The capital investment is enormous compared to almost any other venture you could go into. Then, as James found, it doesn't pay you like a job or even like a regular business does. For a year or more, you can be shoveling alarming amounts of money out of the door every month to pay for a refurb or a development project. You then only see any cash come back in when you successfully sell or refinance, which can be delayed for months by annoying technicalities while your bank balance drains away. Then, the money that you do receive needs to see you through until the unknown future date that you next complete a project. It's hardly stress-free. On the other hand, it's hard to imagine a better way of protecting and compounding your money than property. It tends to keep up with and slightly outpace inflation, and you can juice that return up with leverage that is relatively cheap and relatively safe. Also, people will always need it, so it has an intrinsic value that financial assets don't. And best of all, if you do it right, it puts money in your pocket every single month, even if you've outsourced every part of the process and have kind of forgotten that you own it. So my advice for anyone who wants to ultimately replace the income that they earn from their job is to be patient and just get that snowball started. Save up, buy a property for the long term and save the rental income. And critically, you should do this while you keep on saving as much from your job as you did in the first place to buy the property. You'll then be able to buy the next one more quickly thanks to your rental income being added to your own savings. At that point, you'll have two sets of rental income supplementing your savings, getting you to your next purchase even faster and on it rolls. Then once you've hit your target, you can start drawing on your rental income to live off. And maybe it won't replace your entire earned income, but it will at least give you more flexibility, allowing you to go part-time, take a pay cut so you can pursue something more rewarding, or give you enough of a buffer that you can start pursuing a new venture. My favourite example of this is a client of ours at Property Hub Invest who was able to quit his job in investment banking and go to work in a bike shop just because he loves bikes. So what did James do? Well, in the end, he found another way of generating income without going back to work and started treating property as a long-term investment instead. And I suggest that most people do the same. It's not as exciting as quitting your job and going full-time into property, but it's a lot less stressful and a lot more likely to get you to where you want to be in the end. Even if you are buying a property for the long term, it can really speed up your progress if you manage to get a good deal. Unfortunately though, many new investors think they're getting a good deal, but actually end up massively overpaying. So watch this video next, where we share our method to make sure this never happens to you.